my grandson was dropping off some females and the police they spotted him they started firing at the vehicle he jumped out ran into a yard that was when the police came saw him and freezed him the G members of the GSU they were in the black truck along with ones in the white pickup truck also they brought him out and they freezed him told him to freeze put his hand behind his head that is why he got shot on his finger also for the first time, these details of what allegedly transpired on the morning of March 17th are being revealed, and it tells a rather different story from what has been reported so far. But it is for these reasons that the family of Candice Flowers says they have lost confidence in the police department following the execution of the 26-year-old. Flowers' body was discovered in front of a mechanic shop near the corner of City and Mahogany Streets in rival gang territory. He had been shot twice, once to the side and to the head. Even as authorities say that there was no police involvement in the murder, the family maintains that Flowers was killed at the hands of the GSU. As I know it and as I understand it is that one person is being shot. There's work being done to, to have that person hand him, himself so that a charge or some charges could be laid against him. But if we don't tell the family that, then they are not aware and, and ignorance it spreads a lot of things, and I could hear it in the voices that were in the conversations that were being had, that they are not fully abreast or given an update as it relates to how far we are with the, with the case. They are covering up for the GSUs because they were the ones that went to the Chinese shop about 6 o'clock in the morning waiting for the people to open their doors, the shop door. So we know for a fact that they are involved. They say that the police department, as promised by investigators, would have allowed them to view surveillance footage from the area that captured the execution. But according to Sandra Uter, the clip revealed to the family shows only a van traveling to and from the scene, but not the commission of the crime. A video was um, retrieved from, the, um, from someone. I can't uh, mention the entity because of um, security reasons. But of course that could be shown to the family to, to let them see firsthand what really transpired. There was this allegation that it was a police officer who did the, the shooting, in particularly the GSU, but that um, has been rubbished. The, the, the investigation has shown that the police officer was not even in the country at the time when the incident took place. The video that was shown to us is not, the, that, that's not even two seconds. Show one vehicle flying that way and reversing back. That's all the video that was shown to us, and that's not the video. That video ran for 24 hours. He had to make capture it. He had to make capture it. Because the van passed the same area where Candice was lying on the ground dead. But they haven't showed us that. They haven't showed us that. They cut the video. If you have one camera that runs 24 hours, where is the rest of the video? As I told... Mr. Williams, I will walk from where the incident took place to the Chinese shop. And if you see me on the camera, that signifies that the video was captured from the Chinese shop. But they didn't want me to do that. We have to um, move forward by showing them what really transpired. And, and But it comes at a cost in terms of if we show them who the suspect is before he's arrested, then there could be further breaches of the law. So we want to um, deal with it on our own as police officers and have the suspect come into custody. But we are working with individuals who we be, whom we believe could be able to help us um, have this person safely into our custody. Notwithstanding, the family says they will exhaust all means possible to get justice for Candice. We can do everything we could, you know. Everything we could. If we have to get, try to get one private investigator, we will, and retain a liar, we will. We are seeking justice and we will not stop. We will leave no stone unturned until we get justice for Candice. Dwayne Moody for News 5.